Hello and welcome to a very exciting Bayonne today. As always, I try to bring you the movers and shakers in town, the new people. We bring in some of the older people too. Uh, most times they're from Bayonne, but in this instance, we managed to get someone from Staten Island to come to Bayonne to take over one of Bayonne's landmarks. And as you're looking at the screen, you'll see that that's Hendrickson's Corner. And I'm very excited and pleased to welcome two members of the crew. One is right here, and this is Bobby O. Hi, how are Hi. you, Diane? Good, this is Bob O'Neill, and his sister is in the audience watching to make sure that the whipped cream stays the way we want it to stay, and that Bobby O does what he's supposed to do. <laughs> welcome to Bayonne today. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Now, the most important thing for people to know and to understand is that you have come into town and taken what was a landmark and something that we kind of knew so much about. We know about the history of, of, of the building. I mean, if you'd like to talk briefly about it, you can give us like a little commercial about the fact that the building was at one point. It was the uh, town hall police station, uh, post office, uh, some famous people have eaten there. I, I'm sure people in Bayonne know a couple of presidents. Babe Ruth used to hang out there. It's, you know, like you said, it's a landmark. The building mm -hmm. speaks for itself, you know, the stained glass. You see that it's people paying a fortune to have something like that done in New York City, and here we have an original. Okay, and you found this original back in, you actually bought it in June of 2014? Yes. Okay. But I've been a patron. I, you know, I knew Randy, the previous owner, okay. uh, through one of his bartenders, a guy by the name of Jack Monroe, worked for me uh, at Cannon Fitzgerald years ago. And when Jack bartended there, it was a place for me to go uh, hang out, watch the Giants. We had a crew that used to watch it and fell in love with the place back mm -hmm. then. And this, and you mentioned that you would come in, I think, on Sundays? Monday nights. Anytime oh, the Monday Giants, nights. Yeah, okay. If the Giants played Monday night football, we knew we'd take over the bar, so we'd get a couple of carloads coming over from Staten Island. Okay. And uh, Joe was behind the bar, old Joe Dersha. We'd okay. give him a run for his money on those nights. Okay. He earned it. So you knew Randy Capriola. Obviously, you got to know Angela. Yes. All righty. And... Um, so much of what we know of Hendrickson's obviously is filled with the hospitality and just the warmth that you would always feel when you would go in. Uh, Randy was a very good friend of mine as well as Angela. And um, I'm happy to see that there's still a Capriola over there. Yeah, we still have the, their youngest son, Brian, Okay, who's uh, still working for us. Okay, so Brian works behind the bar. Yes. Okay, very cute young man, <laughs> I will say. I was there the other day. He's grown up since I remember. Um, so much of your staff, my understanding is, I, I have a long list of them and we want to get that out of the way now so that everybody knows they get a shout out. Uh, we're going to, of course, mention that the people who have returned was the chef. Yeah, we got Johnny Rod, Antonio, been okay. there for a long time. Okay. Johnny Rod was there, tw is there 23 years? Yeah. Okay. So he's the master of the food that you see here. Uh, right before us and of course there have been a few new additions which we will talk about when we go through the list of people that we want to mention. We want to mention Barbara. Right, Barbara's uh, our manager, one of our managers now. She takes care of all the serving, that whole staff. Okay, Shari. Shari uh, was here, Bayonne, went down south, came back home to us. We're that happens happy. a lot. People yeah. leave and they always come back. That's okay? right. Uh, we have Maria. Maria's been there for, I think, 15 years. Yes. Everybody knows Maria. I remember when she started. Okay. You have Michelle. Michelle's one of the young girls. She's been there a couple of years. We, you know, we, uh, we inherited Michelle. She's there about three, four years. She oh. does a good job. Okay. Patrick? Patrick's one of our young bus boys. Uh, we get him when he's home from school. Does a great job. He's also uh, our resident bagpiper. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I guess that'll move us into St. Patrick's Day, but we'll talk about that later, too. We also have, I believe, Gianni? Uh, Giam. Giam? Giam is uh, one of the young servers that okay. we have. Another one that we inherited. Uh, does a great job. Great. Uh, he's been there a couple of years. Started as a busboy. Okay. At the bar, we have Jack. Yeah, of course, Jack. Everybody, Everybody knows, knows Jack. Jack. Okay. Chuck? 
right? The, Chuck is a uh, day guy, great guy. He is great. Yes, he fit because I left my appointment book when I came into pre-interview with you on the on the bar, and when I walked in the next day, he just walked over and handed it to me. Okay, Vinny. Right, Vinny's one of the kids that started as a busboy, server, went away to school, came back as a server. Now he's teaching in Bayonne. He's also a bartender. Okay, and Eric. Eric, same deal. Uh, started as a busboy. In fact, his brother, I guess, got him the job. His brother worked for Randy years ago, and mm -hmm. he's been there. Eric's been there about 12, 13 years, I believe. Wow. Another one that we inherited. Wow. So these are the, these are the people that we're all kind of familiar with, but well, then yeah, we, we can't see leave some out Antonio. Antonio's Johnny Rod's right hand man in the kitchen, and Tony's been there about 15 years. He's a well. He's the chef that works with Johnny Rod. Yes. Okay. So that's the kitchen staff. Now, the new people, okay, some of which have added a lot of color and flavor <laughs> to the to this restaurant. You have, uh, well, you mentioned that name. G what is it? Oh, we have Guinevere also. You have Giam, as we inherited. Yeah. We got Guinevere, who is uh, Sherry's daughter. Okay. You have Kathy. Yes, Kathy's back. For, she, I guess she's a Bayonne girl, worked at the diner, and now we have her. Kathy Pernas we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not a day at Hendrickson's until you've experienced <laughs> Kathy. Okay, um, Anna? Yes, Anna's uh, one of the local high school kids oh. that uh, we have busing. Okay, Riley? Riley's another one, uh, one of the local high school kids. We tried to set up a little uh, program with Bayonne High School to have the kids come in from their program. They sent us a bunch of kids. Oh, cool. We actually had a kid in the kitchen uh, up until about three weeks ago. He was there, I guess, about eight, nine months, but he joined the service. Okay. So we had him training in the kitchen as he was going to culinary, the culinary program at the high school. Oh, with Joe Barberi? Yes. You know Joe? Okay. Yes. All righty. Yeah, he's an, I know Joe for a long time. And you also have Matt. Yep. Matt is uh, one of the newer kids. He's uh, up from Florida. Okay. Does a good job. Okay, so we've covered the staff. We've covered everyone that we know of in the, you know, in the, the restaurant itself. Um, one of the things that we want to talk about, which you have instituted since you've taken over, it are all of the programs and special events and things that have really brought life back to that Hendrickson's Corner. Um, some of which we have here on the set. Others we'll talk about. Um, to start out, I mean, my one of my favorites is the art shows. Right. Tell me about the art shows. Uh, you know, uh, Kevin Delaney, Napkin Art, mm -hmm. uh, when I was in the process of buying Hendrickson's, you know, I would come in and just sit at the bar and, you know, oh. just see what was going on and be frank. Kevin and I became friends. He's very easy to be friends oh, with. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. And uh, after a few cocktails, you know, I introduced myself in a sense of, going to be the new owner, and threw a few ideas out at him about the art show. He was all for it, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, it just took off from there. We figured we'd give it a shot right before Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, we did it last November, the last Sunday uh, in November, and it was, it was a huge success. So I guess that brings business into the restaurant as well? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, we have a second floor that's not being utilized, so mm -hmm. why not, you know, put anything up there to... Uh, to bring, people, to bring in. people in and let people use it. Mm -hmm. In fact, the November show is going to become an annual an annual art show. It's going to be Hendrickson's art show. Okay, so you're going to have shows regularly that people will get to know about more and more. Now, I know you put a sandwich board out on Broadway. Yes. Okay, that kind of tells you what the events are, that what's going on. If you didn't see the sandwich board, though, you would go to your website. Right. Okay, which is HendricksonsCorner.com? Correct. Okay, and then you also have a Facebook page. Yes, okay. Hendrickson's Corner. Hendrickson's Corner, okay. So there are lots of ways to find out about the events and things that are going on, so you'd want to make note of all of that. We have technology now. It's in our favor. For a while there, everybody was like, I I'm not going to do what I can. I don't want to, but it, it has helped businesses out and you mentioned to me that um, someone arrived in Newark Airport and found you on Google? Yes, uh, this past weekend somebody was looking for a place to eat, they flew into Newark, they googled I guess uh, restaurants, our name came up and the gentleman stopped by. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. It's, you know, it, technology is taking over. No, technology is taking over but nothing ever replaces the personal touch. No, not at all. And the one-on-one -on -one contact. Okay. When I was there for the pre-interview and I sat at the bar, of course, if one person came in that you knew, you knew five of them. It's the place where, not to quote Cheers, but we will. 
That's what we want to make it like, you know, neighborhood cheers. Everybody knows everybody. Yes, and everyone did know everyone that night that I was there. It was, it was really an amazing thing, part of which I have to credit to you and your friendly nature and the way you, made, you make everyone feel as welcome as Randy did when you'd walk in. Well, thank you. And some of the things that are changed, there are some things that are different. I mean, when I walked in, the place seems brighter. It seems, um, I don't know, it's the same, but yet it has a little different look to it. We had to just make some upgrades. You know, okay. uh, one, of the, one of the major things that we did is the, uh, the lighting. Okay. Just because the lighting was so old, the wiring was old. So we went out and we, you know, it took us a little while, but we found actually in Lowe's lights that match that era. You know, Lowe's, after, Lowe's and Bayonne. Lowe's and Bayonne, yes. Okay. Uh, you know, they, I think they know me by my first name there. Okay. But, uh, we, you know, we checked online and we were looking for different fixtures online. We found one there and they were able to order them for us. And, uh, you know, it's little things like that. The air conditioning is all, okay. you know, that's a new system put in there, the lighting. You know, we're in the process of... Just upgrading, but subtly. You know, we're not trying to change what's there. Okay. Now, I noticed that the menus, I mean, the the, the beautiful menus, the beautiful old-fashioned Hendrickson's menus um, that obviously display all of the different types of things that you can have there without mentioning the specials that yes. you have on occasion. Some of the specials uh, I believe we have here at the table. Yes, okay. some of the new, new things that we've been adding to the menu. You know, you get the old staples that everybody knows, the Reuben. Everybody okay. loves the Hendrickson's Reuben. You know, the Hendrickson's famous steak sandwich. But do you, is there an au jus involved with that? Uh, no, it's, it, there really isn't. It's, it's the quality of the beef. You know, okay. we don't, it's not scamped. We're getting choice of prime cuts weekly to, uh, to put on that sandwich. It's not. Now, you mentioned to me that you, ha you make your own steak sauce. Yes. Okay. Yes, we do. We make our own steak sauce. It's a, a variation of a Mark Joseph steak sauce, a steakhouse in uh, Manhattan. Okay. And we use it on the what we call the Bobby O sliders because I made the, uh, the concoction. And uh, Mark Joseph's put it on their menu, and it's been a hit in Manhattan, and we've been doing pretty well with it over here. I it's haven't just... heard the word concoction Yeah, <laughs> well, they... for a very long time, but I'm happy to hear it. Uh, in the bar business, it you might have be to... an Irish word, because <laughs> well, my mother used it, in it a lot. Business. Okay? So, okay, so you have your sliders there. Right. And we have the Reuben. We have the steak sandwich. Here is the... Uh, Canadian bacon, steakhouse bacon. Okay. That we serve with the uh, Bobby o with the uh, Hendrickson steak sauce. Okay. And then what we've also made is the Hendrickson salad. Ooh, okay. Which has uh, some of the, uh, it's a sliced steak in it. It also has some of the bacon in it, you know, different cheeses, nuts, Ooh. vegetables, cranberries. Really? And then we've also uh, do a lot of fresh desserts now instead of doing the store-bought desserts. So the dessert, okay, so the desserts that, it, these are the desserts you make? Yes. Okay. Yes. So from what I can tell, the whipped cream is cooperating, which, <laughs> which we were a little concerned about because it can get hot in the studio. So we have what looks like a cheesecake. Well, you have a, a New York style cheesecake. Okay. We have Italian cheesecake. I love Italian, okay. Uh, we have creme brulee. Okay, which my we, favorite. We normally only have the creme brulee on the weekends. Okay. We don't, uh, it really doesn't uh, sit well during the week. Okay. And uh, we serve all with uh, fresh fruit. We also use the creme brulee in a, we make a tart on the weekends, the, uh, a fresh fruit tart, seasonal fruit. It goes on top of the creme brulee in a graham, graham cracker crust. Whoa. Okay. And then, you know, the rest is all the, the desserts that you get everywhere. The typical desserts the, yes, that you can find. Yes, the peanut butters, the tiramisu's. Okay. But little by little, we're trying to go more towards the fresh and not the store-bought. Okay. Well, that's, hel I guess, healthy. Uh, I don't know if you could say cheesecake or creme brulee is healthy, but well, I'll go with it. I'll, I'll roll with that. It's food for the soul. <laughs> and now you're moving me right into something else that Stephanie and I had talked about. Okay. okay. I know you're not that comfortable about this, but everybody knows about Hendrickson's. Okay. Everybody knows it's been around for a long time. And your sister told me that she heard someone calling out her name. Yeah, you know, people say it as a ghost. I haven't met him yet. And, uh, you know, I've slept over a few times in the office. Uh-huh. And uh, nobody's come to wake me up. Okay, well, you you're know. not as pretty as Stephanie, so that uh, could that, be why. <laughs> that could be it. Okay. So, so the history here in town, which most of you know, um, we have 
we have a lot of stuff that sometimes is unexplainable, but to have someone come in and polish up and bring us into a whole new way of eating and thinking about our town, I mean, it seems to be coming back to the town hall kind of feeling that it originally had because it was Bayonne City Hall at one point. Well, Bayonne's, you know, Bayonne's a, a small town. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not, Bayonne isn't really a city in my eyes. It's a small town. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, the town hall aspect of it is great. You know, just getting the people in there, town hall, hang out. You know, it's the, the stopping grounds, like the old general stores. Yes. You know, the, the one saloon in town. Yes. You know, that's, that's what we're looking for. Just make everybody comfortable. And by doing all of the events and all of the things and the give backs, I mean, we have to talk about the charities that you have supported in town. Um, I have a long list of them. I mean, you can mention them. If you, if you leave any of them out, I'll let you know. Well, we, we've had on different holidays, you know, uh, we go to, we, we give back to different uh, organizations. On Veterans Day, we gave 10% of our sales to Wounded Warriors. Mm -hmm. uh, on Father's, Father's Day, because it was the longest day, we gave 10% of our sales to uh, Alzheimer's. Okay. Uh, we've also done it to some local charities, the Bayonne Cheer. We've done it. We've done it to uh, uh, Simpson Baber. Bayonne Elite, the cheerleaders. Bay yes. Uh, we've also done some for Staten Island because we have a, a, a base that comes from Staten Island, the Eden Two program. Okay. Which is another autistic uh, program. We've mm -hmm. we've done that with them. And, uh, you know, we just continue. We're willing to do that. If people, you know, it's giving back. It, yes. it helps us, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's bringing people in. Mm -hmm. But it also, you know, it's helping the community, keep it in the community. Well, it's a way for people to go to their favorite watering hole, help a charity out, get together, talk a little bit about what, maybe what the charity was or maybe how they can continue to make things better in, in basically in the world itself, which I kind of get the idea from you. I mean, there's a lot more behind <laughs> Bobby O than I think most of us see. Um, the interesting thing is that I know um, I know that you had some friends that were in 9-11. Yes, yeah, okay. we're, yeah. And that kind of have, has in, grave in, influenced your life. Yeah, well, I'm sure, you know, it's influenced everybody, especially on the East Coast here. But, uh, you know, it's, 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 had a, it, it's changed my way of thinking. Okay. You know, uh, it's, you know, life's short. Yes. You know, and you don't know when it's over. So, uh, you know, enjoy it while you can. Mm-hmm. And, you know, right now, that's part of why I'm in Hendrickson's. I'm doing what I've always wanted to do in a place that I've always wanted to do it. I've always been in love with the place. Okay. So you had a love affair with Hendrickson's long before you even thought about? Yes. Okay. So how interesting is that, that you were led there and you then turned it into, I guess, a passion that you um, are sharing. And of course, Stephanie's helping as well. We're not gonna say that Stephanie's Stephanie. a huge help. Okay, let's give Stephanie a little bit of a shout out here. Oh yeah. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> we know what it takes. I mean, there's always a woman behind a man. I hate to say that. I have a few of them, I'm sorry to you, say. You do, wife, I know, you have your wife, sister. daughter. There's a lot of people, okay, but I know I've, I've only met Stephanie so far. And some of the changes that you'll see in the near, well, in the future, the ladies' room at Hendrickson's, if anyone knows what I mean, when you're in that stall, sometimes it can be a little tricky. And Stephanie and I talked about the fact that we're probably going to have two um, stalls in yeah. there. Um, but Bobby O said the men's room has to happen first, right? <laughs> yeah, can't let wait ladies go into that men's room just yet. We okay. got to do that first, just, you know, redo that real quick and then uh, redo the uh, ladies' room nice for you. Now, for what, everybody. what you talked about, though, is that because the building's so old, you said that even finding, the, you mentioned the wiring needed to be changed. Yeah, well, with Tony Fermento, I'd be lost without him. Uh, okay. You know, I don't. There's no, there's, it's all fuses. There's not even uh, circuit breakers in half that building. Okay. And uh, Tony's been a great help, you know, tracking things down and, and fixing them for us. Well, Tony Fermento, if anybody doesn't know, is a local electrician who lives literally three houses away. So he could tumble out of his house, come to Hendrickson's, do some work for you, and just go right back home again. I mean, but Tony, Tony did a lot of good work for you, and, and we oh, want to give him, yeah. him some mention as well. Oh, yeah, great, great guy, great job, great worker. Now, a lot of the things that need to be, I don't know, kind of, we want to retrofit Hendrickson's into 2015. We've talked about the fact that people are asking for home delivery. They want 
the product. They want the food. They'd like to sit home in their living rooms because it's a big Bayonne is a big town for delivery. And there, there's some things that are kind of holding you up. Yeah, we're in the press. We got uh, permits to have the sidewalks redone and put a driveway in the back on, on 31st Street because parking would be a problem with the delivery service. Uh, you know, we, we, we're running into a few problems with a few of the utilities. Well, you know, PSE and G has been great. They put in a new pole. Okay. So we're just waiting for that to get done. And once that's done, you know, hopefully we can make some changes with the delivery. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some of the future plans, possibly outdoor seating. That would be great. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we want to, you know, th there's a lot that we have on our wish list. Okay. You know, I would love to make that second floor handicap accessible. Okay. You know, just because it's such a great room and we lose people because they can't get them up there. It's a steep staircase. Anyone who knows the building knows that the staircase is steep. And um, handicapped access would, I guess, mean what? A chairlift? Yeah, a chairlift. And also, I'd, I'd have to redo one of the bathrooms upstairs, but I think I have the spot for it. You know, it's something that we've, we've discussed. I haven't had anybody come in to look at it just yet because we're not ready for that yet. Okay. You know, it all falls into line. I mean, the driveway would be the first step mm -hmm. into clearing a way to put the entrance in for the chairlift without any stairs. We could have a ramp go in through that side entrance. And that would be Verizon, I think. That might be yeah, somebody that's... that can help out. Anybody out there, Verizon people, like, you know, kind of move that paperwork up to the front of the desk for us. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be really, really nice yeah. for us. I know that you mentioned the room upstairs, okay, and you did mention that on St. Patrick's Day, because that corner is known as the spot. If you're doing the parade, you always wound up going back to Hendrickson's. Yeah. You mentioned that you had to have reservations. Well, this year we had uh, a lot more than we anticipated coming okay. out with reservations. It was, you know, it was our first year there for St. Patrick's Day. We were thrown into the fire. But uh, we were lucky enough to have the whole staff come in, and we actually opened up the second floor as a dining room. Really? And we were seating parties of six to eight or more upstairs. You know, okay. we had a little, you know, we had some music, some Irish tunes playing oh, you for did? them. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, we had bar service up there. You know, everybody that, that went up there seemed to be happy. It, mm -hmm. was, it was a great day for us, and it's, it seemed like everybody that was there had a good time. Had a good time. So you had um, the special events that we were talking about, obviously. You have an Oktoberfest, too. Yeah, we do Wednesday nights. We do a German dinner. It's, you know, uh, it's a special menu. It's all, we have a copy of it here. Uh, it's all German foods. We bring in a Weiss beer and, you know, we do the uh, the schnitzels, you know, uh, apple strudel was a big, uh, really? big special dessert last year for it. So uh, we're in the process of putting a menu together for this October. Okay. So Oktoberfest at Hendrickson's, which of course it was German. Yes. I mean, Mr. Hendrickson was a German. So you're bringing back that kind of flavor into the town, which an ethnic thing is always a good thing to bring in. I'm finding that a lot of the younger people are eating ethnic foods now. Oh, we, oh yeah. Have you found that? Yes, yes, very much so. Uh, we, you know, we, we, we're looking into some other ones to do some other specialty dinners. It seems uh, my, I'm not good at that. Like the German was easy for me because it's all the things that I like. Okay. I mean, we have to try out uh, a few other things. I mean, uh, Johnny Rod is great with experimenting and, you know, I'm basically going to leave it up to him this year to, to uh, pick out a few things. Mm -hmm. You know, for, for uh, November, we were doing a Thanksgiving dinner on Wednesday night, so that was something. Christmas, oh, okay. we were actually toying with the idea of the, the Italian seafood on Wednesday nights. <gasps> Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, so we, 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 there's a few things that we're, we're playing with. We don't. Ooh, we haven't I got, put a you menu together. You gave me the together. chills. Oh, I like that. <laughs> good. Because that Italian dinner happens on, on Christmas Eve. Right. And I mean, how many? It's nine fish. I think they make nine different fishes. And I mean, on Christmas Eve, you're wrapping gifts. You just finished shopping. I mean, it's it's a lot nowadays. So it would be nice to know that in that you'd be doing that in the month yeah, of December. Yeah, hopefully we're gonna have that going on Wednesday nights. Wednesday oh. night seems to be the night that we. Uh, we're going to have our specialty, Dennis. Oh, that is really cool. Now, what about the player piano? Uh, you know what? We took the piano out. It was broken. It's not gone. My son-in-law, who's a carpenter, is fixing it. He's also a musician. Okay. But with the one of the upgrades was a POS system, and it just happened that the cabinet fit right there with the computer system that did both rooms. Okay. You know, it was the it was the perfect area for the piano. It was also central area for the system, so it was just it was a fit. Okay. Uh, We've toyed, we, we've spoken about it. It's not something that we've, we're, we're looking to do right away. I mean, if, if people came in and requested it, I guess we would 
try anything. What I'm thinking about is what your sister said about finding what you think. Now, we're going to be closing out this, the show, so this is an odd kind of thing to close it out on, but there was a pig stall yes, in it, the basement. I guess part of Bayonne, Laura's Bayonne, there was a lot of pig farmers in Bayonne. Okay. And uh, rummaging around down there, we found a gate, and a, it's more like a stall. Okay. Uh, the wood is very dry, so you can see it's been down there for well over 100 years. And okay. We had it, one of the historians came in and said that they think it was a pig stall. Okay, so you're going to re I, I've heard that, and this is like the thing to do. You're going to take an older piece of wood and you're going to turn it into something new. But we're not going to say what it is. Okay. Okay, because when we do it, you'll have to come into Hendrickson's and figure out what was the pig stall. Not to mention the fact that you've used the jail, the cells downstairs. Yes. Okay, because it was a city jail. Um, you have one you said is for your... It's a liquor cabinet. A liquor cabinet. And the second one was turned into a uh, cold room for the, uh, for the beer. Okay. All the kegs are kept in that. Okay, so it's the Hendrickson's has kind of gone green. I mean, you're taking a lot of the older things that we've had there, and you've used them in ways that are not only creative, but helpful and add to the folklore of Hendrickson's Corner. Um, I don't know if there was anything else that we were supposed to talk about that we may have missed. I just want to, you know, we had, there was one other member of the O'Neill family that is involved in Hendrickson's, and it's my brother Tom, we call him Red, so. Okay. He's not here, but I just felt like we should say something about him, too. Okay, so that's, so Red O'Neill, uh, you're here, you're here we, once again in spirit. We're happy that your family came to town. We're happy that Staten Island and Bayonne are kind of like sister. How about we're sister cities? Okay, or, I, I prefer know, brothers. Brotherly love. Are. I mean, you know, we could we could kind of word it that way. Okay. Um, the pa and actually, a lot of people from Staten Island are coming over here too. So there's been a nice exchange of uh, people coming to discover us. I guess. Is there anything like this in Staten Island? Uh, not really. This is the old. I grew up in Brooklyn, and Broadway to me is very similar to 86th Street in Bay Ridge. Yes, I hear that a lot. And when we moved to Staten Island, my wife would come to Broadway, and you know, the kids' uniforms for school and shoes and whatnot, because it was so much easier to get here than it was to Brooklyn. Okay, cool. So that's an interesting thing for us to know too. And I did actually put up the Bayonne magazine because I know that you've advertised in that. This is a new magazine in town. So as you can see, all the things that we see happening are incorporated into just a delicious menu of um, food, hospitality, history, and uh, I hope everyone goes over to Hendrickson's and your hours of operation. Uh, the kitchen closes Monday, uh, Sunday through f Thursday at 10, Friday and Saturday 11. Okay, and it's a 24-7 operation. They're open seven days a week. And um, you're brunch gonna... now on Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, brunch too. Okay, so we have a lot, a lot of good food waiting for us. Not too far away. Your address again? Six seventy one Broadway. Six seventy one Broadway. So hope to see everybody over at Hendrickson's Corner. And I have my eye on the creme brulee, the whipped cream cooperated, and Andy. I don't know. Andy likes the pickles from Mr. Pickle, but I think he has a choice of anything he'd like. Thank Take you. care. Bacon. <laughs> bacon. Andy wants bacon. Okay. Well, Thank that you, explains. Diane. You're welcome. That explains the pigs' farms. And here you go. Here's your I Love Bayonne button. Great. Wear it proudly. I will. And everyone will get to see you over at the uh, restaurant, and um, you'll get to see Stephanie too. She she she's not going to hide in the back, right, Steph? No. Okay. She'll come out, and you. We should to give Steph a little. Just pan out to us and let us say hello. She said hello. Stephanie said hello. Low budget film show. We really can't move the cameras. Okay. Sorry. And she's not moving. I and know that. And she ain't moving either. <laughs>